Hey guys, it's Jen with Simply Fit and I'm out here in the freezing cold because there is distance learning going on in my house and I didn't want to disrupt it with the live. Okay, so why am I here? It's around two o'clock and it, it's freaking cold so I'm gonna make this quick. Okay, it's two o'clock and I just got back from walking the dog and recently due to some health stuff, I had to give up caffeine. <gasps> right? End of the world, but it's two o'clock and I'm not tired. It took me, to be honest, it took me about a week um, to get over it, but no caffeine and I feel fine. And I was just thinking that two o'clock is typically the slump, right? People start to get an energy slump. Well, what is that two o'clock slump caused by, right? We normally it makes us reach for things like if we can't take a nap, which would be ultimo, <laughs> ultimate, right? We get a uh, craving for coffee or Starbucks run or a snack or something at two o'clock to bring our energy back. But why do we have that drop in energy at two o'clock? Well, really it's a few reasons. Number one, go back to the night before. Did you get enough sleep? Did you get good quality sleep? Probably not if you're tired at two. And the second thing is what have you eaten today? Nutrition has a big part to play in that. Um, as well as my five other elements, right? So really it's what did you eat today and what kind of sleep did you get? And that has a big part in your um, at energy, you know, after lunch and that, that early afternoon time. So you reach for caffeine maybe, right? And then what happens if you have caffeine afternoon? I tell my clients try to avoid caffeine afternoon because it affects your sleep right? It affects your sleep that night. And then you get into this whole cycle again. And the same thing, instead of reaching for caffeine, if you reach for like a Christmas cookie or a snack or something, how is that going to affect you? And it actually sets off this blood sugar insulin roller coaster that makes you have food cravings and stuff. And again, it's just the same cycle. So break the cycle. How do you break the cycle? Well, I'm going to talk about that, right? It's all of those five elements in my reboot, refresh, revive program. It has to do with nutrition, right? We're going to talk about that. It has to do with, with movement, right? Getting out, getting some daylight. We all have a circadian rhythm that depends on the sunlight. So that's important, getting some sort of sunlight, even if it's through a window. Um, and then hydration, because often we're tired or we're craving food because we haven't had enough water. And we'll talk about electrolytes with that hydration piece during that week. Um, and then sleep. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I've heard a couple of really good podcasts I'd love to share with, with the group there um, about, about sleep. And then reducing your stress. And all of these things have to do with our energy throughout the day. But especially if you have a problem, you really struggle with a 2 p.m. slump. So if you're working from home or a teacher, God bless you. And you get to 2 p.m. and your day is not over. And you're having a hard time focusing on your meeting or on your conference call or whatever. Think about the things that I just said. Think about your sleep. Think about what you're eating. And then consider signing up for the program. This week, it's 10% off. Um, and then starting next week, it goes up to the full price until we start on January 1st. So if you have any questions, send me a message, um, a direct message through Instagram or Facebook or an email at simplyfitva at hotmail.com. And I can send you some information. Or if you're ready to sign up for the program, I can send you the link. So have an awesome freezing, freezing Tuesday here. <laughs> I'm going to go back inside and be quiet for my distance learner. Okay. Thanks guys.